Hi everybody, this is Gatsat for the Sad Truth. If I were to tell you that an open disdain and an open proclamation that you dislike broccoli should be rejected because it is an instantiation of homophobia, what would you say? Well, you'd likely say that I'm insane because it is impossible to imagine how one can uh, describe a disdain for broccoli uh, as a form of hate or bigotry towards same-sex uh, partnerships. Uh, by the exact same token, to argue or accuse people who criticize, reject, debate, ridicule, mock, question a religious ideology as being racist bigots carries the exact same logical value. You can't use that descriptor. It's quite disheartening to see how many times we have to repeat that point, but uh, it seems as though some people are simply unable to understand that idea. Words have meanings. Links between concepts are structured in a way that they make sense. So if I were to say, you know, this car, I don't like it very much. It doesn't have a good sense of humor then you would likely rush me quickly to a psychiatric institute because you'd be puzzled that I am describing a sense of humor, a quality that is associated with human beings, to a car, an inanimate object. By the exact same token, a dislike of broccoli is not homophobic any more than a criticism of a religion is racist. Religions are made up of ideas. Those ideas are open to scrutiny. So we could look at 10 ideas that are proposed in a given religion and say, I like ideas one, three, and seven, and I detest, abhor, reject, mock, ridicule the other ideas. To state so doesn't make you racist. It doesn't make you bigoted. It makes you somebody who possesses a brain, who could reason. So. That accusation is meant to stifle discussions that are important uh, in today's climate. And so I hope that this clip can serve as weaponry for you when someone accuses you of being a hateful, racist, homophobe if you propose that you dislike broccoli. There you go. Cheers, guys. Have a good day.